Hello, welcome back to another video. Anyway, what is this about? Well, I think the title pretty much says it. Chardonnay is basically our, one of our favourite wines, um, basically because it's easier to drink than Sauvignon Blanc. Red wine is quite nice, but it's not an everyday wine, so if you'd like to know about red wine and tasting how to taste that, check out wine tasting videos. There are lots more to come. The last few videos have got um, over a hundred odd um, views on each one, so thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, enjoy. Hello guys, how are you? Hope you're really well. Uh, what we're gonna do one week into quarantine, but drink some wine, yeah. You may be having trouble in this day and age going to the supermarket. You may have to queue up for many hours outside. You may, like me, think, forget it. Because quite often they get it really, really wrong with the wine. It's like the worst stuff known to man. It's like, you know, Echo Falls White Zinfandel, which don't get me started on. But very occasionally they have my favourite wine that is five pounds in store. The good old Lindemann's Chardonnay. Now, I work for a very well-known wine chain. Um, and not to mention any names, but they're still delivering and they're really good guys. And they do do really good wines, but at, at a price, you know. Basically, on a £5 bottle of wine, you're getting a 50p wine with all the tax and the uh, bottling costs. Um, the uh, transport costs basically it's 50p wine so i should say this is my favorite 50p wine yay campai any case basically my big secret is i'm a massive lover of chardonnay and that is what this little baby is it's a lovely aussie chardonnay and a lot of wine connoisseurs will, um, you know, say, oh, no, I hate Chardonnay. I love Chablis. Well, it's the same grape. Chardonnay is a grape. Um, if you like your wine really acidic and from a cold climate, by all means, enjoy your Chablis. But for me, I enjoy a grape that has been warmed by the sun and has, has lived its life on a tree in Australia before being picked and made into a delicious wine, hence this one. Now, a five pound wine can never be like, you know, the best wine ever, obviously. As I said, in this country, it's gonna be a 50p wine, basically, after all the costs. But that doesn't mean it's bad, because certain supermarkets, um, they, they actually make a loss on their five pound wines that they sell. And I also noticed it's from 2018, um, the vintage, and um, you know, that's getting on a bit now for a cheap wine. So um, I'm thinking that oh, it's been stuck around in a storeroom for some time. I noticed this wine for the first time, like over a year ago now. Tried it, I thought, oh, a five pound Chardonnay, it'll probably taste like piss, but we'll buy it and we'll see. And it was just stunning, you know. So anyway, stop blathering on Charlotte, let's taste wine professionally. So first we look at the wine. We choose a clear glass, obviously. We notice that it is clear and yellow colored. And that means that it's you know, it's quite a mature wine, as we see, because it's from 2018, and that's two years ago now. Um, so it's clearly matured in the bottle a little, and it's gained more of a yellow colour. And the other reason it's yellow is because it was picked when it was quite full of sugar, the grape, and it formed a more mature wine, you know, that um, was not like a Sauvignon Blanc that's like um, really pale. It's got a bit more body and weight to it and colour. So we see that it's um, clear and yellow, so it could be many types of grape variety at this point, but we're thinking it probably won't be a Sauvignon Blanc, which, by the way, is my most detested sort of white wine. Although, you know, lots of people are a big fan, but I prefer my wine to taste of peaches and cream rather than grass, and that's just a personal taste, and there's nothing up with liking Sauvignon Blanc, it's personal taste. 
Um, so basically, here we have this little five pound beauty, and um, we've noticed it's clear and it's yellow in colour, so it's not a new wine. And then we swirl it and we smell it. And that is the biggest pleasure of wine apart from actually drinking the stuff which is even better is the smelling it. You smell all the delicious peachy smells which come out of a new world wine which is mostly peach but you know the hotter it is and Australia can get pretty damn hot you might get some tropical fruit as well I'm not being all arsy about it, but you can, you know, the grapes, even though they're just grapes, can take on such amazing flavours. And so I really would recommend, even if you get a £5 wine, sniff it, swirl it and sniff it, why not? You know, it might be amazing. Um, although, obviously, when you drink it, you might just be hit by how sour and awful it is, because you did actually choose a really shit awful wine. But in this case, this five pound wine, it's actually really lovely. Peachy, creamy, you know, really nice Chardonnay. It will have a nice creamy smell from the oak barrels um, and also the yeast as that is a necessary component of making wine. It'll have a lovely, you know, creamy, maybe even toasty smell. Um, but yeah, mostly it'll be upfront tropical fruit, pineapple, um, peach and it's got that in spades I mean I'm not saying it's the most complex wine ever basically I can just get pineapple and and peach off this that's good enough who doesn't want a little bit of fruit salad in the wine and then we taste it um, and you'll notice that I mean all wine is acidic but it's really not that acidic, that's what I like about Chardonnay. I mean, obviously it's probably going to be, you know, quite like 5% pH or something. It's going to be acidic, but because it's wine. But it is on the more gentle on the palate side of things. And you can taste those same things. You can smell the peach, the pineapple, you know, what's not to like. The only problem with it is it's too easy drinking in a way. That's the problem with Chardonnay. That's why we try and drink red sometimes because you know, the tannins um, mean that you want to sip it a bit more slowly. And also there's this idea, which is actually true, that red wine is better for you. I mean, obviously if you drink many, many glasses, neither are really good for you, but red wine is, is better for you in terms of the heart, etc., antioxidants. Um, but any case, this wine is just a delight and you can just drink it on its own or you could have it with, with many foods, it, it would complement many things. Uh, I'll get onto food and wine tasting in future because it's a very interesting area. This could maybe even stand up to um, meat, it could definitely stand up to chicken, maybe it could even stand up to like steak if you, if you really want to eat steak with white wine. It's quite a powerful Aussie Chardonnay, you know, so if you don't have too much flavouring and seasoning on your steak, it might be okay. Um, but yeah, definitely if you're having white wine, it's more of a chickeny fish, you know, sort of dish that it would really go with. Um, so we've tasted it, we, we note the peach and tropical fruit flavours, it's really nice. And a good wine, it's how long it lingers on the palate. And obviously this is only a £5 wine, or maybe it should be like £7 and so it, it's not a terrible not a terrible and not a cheap wine this and um it uh, it does linger a little bit on the palate i still have the nice you know peachy tropical fruit flavors now so yeah good little wine generally um so yeah you taste it and, it and the finish is the most important thing how long it lasts on the palate so I recommend this wine and you know I'm not being paid by Lindemans although they're one of the biggest wineries in the world um but anyway happy drinking everyone and I'll speak to you soon thank you bye so what do you think about that I thought it was very good actually to be honest um she knows her stuff as she said before another video is going to come about what foods to enjoy with different types of wine because while well, like most of us we have wine with our meals, wine with our lunch, sometimes if you depending on what country you're in, depending whether you drink wine with your lunch 
or dinner or both etc it all depends on your culture so stay tuned for that video because that's going to be really good um, like I said if you haven't check out my other videos don't forget to subscribe follow and share share this video and like it as well because if you like this video YouTube will know that you enjoyed it and will recommend other videos but without further ado thank you very much for tuning in we'll see you all soon bye bye